Abdominal Trauma Outline Blunt Abdominal Trauma Penetrating Abdominal Trauma Blunt Abdominal Trauma Blunt Abdominal Trauma is a leading cause of morbidity and mortality among all age groups. Identification of serious intra-abdominal pathology is often challenging. Many injuries may not manifest during the initial assessment and treatment period. The liver and spleen seem to be the most frequently injured organs. Small and large intestines are the next most injured organs. Mechanisms of injury often result in other associated injuries that may divert the physician's attention from potentially life-threatening intra-abdominal pathology. Pathophysiology Injury to intra-abdominal structures can be classified into two primary mechanisms of injury. Compression forces Deceleration forces Compression forces these forces may result from direct blows or external compression against a fixed object. Most commonly, these crushing forces cause tears and subcapsular hematomas of solid organs. Deceleration forces Deceleration forces cause stretching and linear shearing between relatively fixed and free objects. These longitudinal shearing forces tend to rupture supporting structures at the junction between free and fixed segments. Classic deceleration injuries include hepatic tear along the ligamentum teres and intimal injuries to the renal arteries. As bowel loops travel from their mesenteric attachments, thrombosis and mesenteric tears with resulted splanchnic vessel injuries can result. Clinical History Initially, evaluation and resuscitation occur simultaneously. In general, do not obtain a detailed history until life-threatening injuries have been identified and therapy has been initiated. A history of hypotension is a predictor of more significant intra-abdominal injuries. The initial clinical assessment of patients with BAT is often difficult and notably inaccurate. Associated injuries often cause tenderness and spasms in the abdominal wall and make diagnosis difficult. In general, accuracy increases if the patient is examined repeatedly and at frequent intervals. The most reliable signs and symptoms in alert patients are pain, tenderness, gastrointestinal, hemorrhage, hypovolemia, and evidence of peritoneal irritation. The seat belt sign, a contusion or abrasion across the lower abdomen, is highly correlated with intraperitoneal pathology. Echimosis involving the flanks, Gray Turner sign, or the umbilicious, Cullen sign, indicates retroperitoneal hemorrhage, but this is usually delayed for several hours to days. Auscultation of bowel sounds in the thorax may indicate the presence of a diaphragmatic injury. Investigations Focused Abdominal Sonogram for Trauma FAST Abdominal CT Scan Serum Glucose Complete Blood Count CBC Serum Chemistries and Urinalysis Coagulation Studies Blood type and match. Arterial blood gas, ABG measurement. Blood ethanol. Urine drug screens and urine pregnancy test for females of childbearing age. Management. Secure the airway in conjunction with inline cervical immobilization in any patient who may have suffered cervical trauma. If external hemorrhage is present, control the hemorrhage with direct pressure. Initiate volume resuscitation with systolide solution. 
DPL is used as a method of rapidly determining the presence of intraperitoneal blood. ED resuscitative thoractomy is only occasionally life-saving. It is an aggressive, desperate measure to save a patient in whom death is thought to be imminent or otherwise inevitable. Indications for laparotomy in a patient with blunt abdominal injury include Signs of peritonitis Uncontrolled shock or hemorrhage Clinical deterioration during observation Hemoperitoneum findings after FAST or DPL examinations Penetrating abdominal trauma Penetrating trauma can result from a wide variety of weapons or instruments and certain elements. The approach varies accordingly to the clinical status of the patient, the instrument responsible for injury and the site of penetration. Clinical history It is helpful to obtain information regarding the mode of injury from the patient, paramedic or witnesses. In penetrating trauma, Inspecting the abdomen for entrance and exit wounds may help determine the path of injury. Distension can occur as a result of pneumoperitoneum, gastric dilation or ileus produced by peritoneal irritation. Investigations Hematocrit WBC count Pancreatic enzymes Base deficit Liver function tests Toxicology analysis, chest radiograph, enteroposterior pelvic x ray, CT abdomen, USG abdomen, diagnostic peritoneal lavage, laparoscopy. Management Selective management of abdominal stab wounds is now well accepted because of the relatively low incidence of intraperitoneal injuries coupled with the success of various diagnostic strategies. Indications for laparotomy following penetrating trauma Hemodynamic compromise Peritoneal signs Evisceration Diaphragmatic injury Gastrointestinal hemorrhage Implements in situ Intraperitoneal air